probably going to be the longest one as well. <laughs> please, please, and thank you. Thank you. Uh, so my name is Samina. I am. Um, I did not come prepared to see this play to be what it was, and I'm really grateful for all of you who've done this. And I'm going to share some personal reflections, uh, things that I've probably never done before. I'm 48. I'm a Pakistani Muslim, and I'm gay. And I came out to my family just last year. And I was 20 three years old when I was still in Pakistan and I got married. And unfortunately, my, my husband passed away very shortly after my marriage. And I never married after that. And my entire khandan always thought that she is not getting married because she is still living in the memory of her late husband, which was very true from the perspective of the tragic passing of, his, uh, of him. But I was never interested per se, or never got interested in a relationship with a man. And that's the only relationship I had ever heard about was ever, ever, ever came across. It's not to say that there weren't uh, homosexual relationships in Pakistan, they were left, right, and center. But our minds were closed. You spoke about a very beautiful point of religion. And I don't know Hinduism at all but I have tremendous respect for Hinduism, just like any other religion. But I can tell you, Islam is 20 feet away from any open sexuality per se. Forget about homosexuality or heterosexuality. So when, um, a proc so I really appreciated your, one of your comments when you said, I have the right to be happy as well. And when about a year, year and a half ago, I met uh, my, my partner, I, I met her through work, and I fell in love with her. And I really appreciated my ability to be able to reciprocate that love. What I could not do was come, and my first words to her was, I can never tell anybody. Number one, I'm a Muslim. Number two, I'm Desi. Number three, I have a father who, how in the world am I going to tell my parents. And it happened at a time when my mother was on her deathbed. So I had to very conscientiously keep my relationship with her, my partner, on the side, and my relationship with my dying mother, who I had spent my 48 years of life with. And when Ami passed away, a month and a half after that, I said, the first thing I have to do is go and tell Abu the reality of my life because I have the right to be happy. Yeah. And I want to live happily for as long as Allah wills me to live. But not just that, I, my family, my closest and dearest people to my life, I thought that I have to give them the right and the ability to see me happy as well. Because they have seen a grieving widow for the past 23 years in a very young person who's full of life but our, our, our culture has suppressed that living and the right to be happy for that young woman who my parents got out of Pakistan because she was never going to survive being a 23-year-old widow. So when I went to my father, who was an educated man, Pakistani man, he's 82, 83 soon, inshallah. And I went and I said to her, Rabu, I've fallen in love with somebody. And he said, okay. And I said, that person happens to be a woman. He got up and he cried. And he said, I have waited to hear this from you for 20 years now. Oh. And the classic thing, you talked about, one of you said, talked about support. I think you did. And the classic thing was that after that, and Abu said, you want to marry her, you want to live with her, you want to do anything, I am with you. So apart from that, the classic thing was that every, my brothers, my brother-in-law, my dearest, dearest, best friend, a part of me as a human being, and a very a few other people who I'm very close to, whoever I went and I said, you know what? I did not say that I have something to share with you which I'm shameful for. I said, I want to share something with you because I know you love me and I want you to know that I'm happy. And I'm happy because I'm in love with somebody and that person happens to be a woman. Not a single person 
other than my sister, because of her religious beliefs, said to me that they were surprised. And I thought, holy macro. If somebody had said to me, from my best friend, to my brother, to my sister-in-law, to my nieces, to my very close people, if one person had said to me 15 years ago, or five years ago, or 10 years ago, that has this ever crossed your mind? that your deepest relationships are with women, maybe you are gay. I probably would have been as happy as I am now 20 years ago. Wow.